All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So we are here with a new video. This one is focusing on macOS and content creation. Now, Apple provides some pretty good free, as in price, software. I, iMovie or Movies, um, the photo app, uh, the list kind of goes on and on. But I wanted to kind of expand beyond that ecosystem because getting locked in the App Store is kind of annoying. So let's take a look at some a mix of proprietary open source and just free type of applications that are available for content creation on Mac OS. So first up we have only office. What do I really need to say about only office? It's a better version of LibreOffice, open office and all the other stuff. Um, and it uses the AGPL license for the desktop editors. So for those that want, you know, more open sourcey stuff, there you go. Next up, we have my preferred editor because I prefer the interface and that is WPS office. Yes. Oh my God. End of the world. It's China. Get over it. Um, for me, though, I've always found that it has, on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, it has the best cross-platform compatibility from DocX and all the other nonsense for me. Just my use case, so that's why I recommend it. Next up, we have the aforementioned iMovie. Really simple interface. Um, you can actually do quite a bit with this. Uh, love it or hate it. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's a good intermediary um, introduction to video editing. Um, it simplifies it. It's not as <laughs> it's not as high, high end as like a Final Cut or as a uh, Premiere Pro, but it's not quite like prosumer either. It's this weird like almost there, but to me like a prosumer application. For that would be something like Power Director or uh, Video Studio Pro, some of the, something like those. So next up, let's go with open source stuff. OpenShot, very similar, simple, similar interface. There's a lot of powerful stuff built in under this quote unquote simple interface, but for what it is, it's worth a shot and it looks very similar to a native app. Next up, we have uh, <laughs> Shotcut. Uh, I am not a fan of this UI. This looks god ugly to me, but it is a very capable editor, and a lot of people love it. And it works on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it is open source, and it is all the goodness that all the the quote unquote free software and Libre software junkies will love, except for the codex part. Next up, we have Staple. It's uh, Audacity. Now, Audacity is can be used for a lot of different things. Uh, it's a multi-track editor, so you can use it for pretty much whatever you need to. Um, for me, I generically just use it for audio uh, normalization and cleaning up some audio, but that's pretty much what I use it for. But really good, solid. I have no complaints about it. Next up, if you need something a little simpler than Audacity, well, check out Ocean Audio. It makes editing quick, simple, and really, really easy, and it's really nice to use as far as from an interface point of view. Oops. And next up, photo management. And do you want your Adobe Lightroom without the Adobe Lightroom? Either A, price tag, or B, subscription slash price tag. Check out Raw Therapy. <laughs> Next up, we have Darktable. Same deal. Uh, I prefer the interface structure on Darktable personally, but hey, to each their own. Some people will find more things to like than others. Um, next up, this one is a different pick than what you would normally get. Um, a lot of people would recommend Pixelator. Um, there's a few others, GIMP, etc. The problem I find with the, uh, GIMP is the pull down of the GTK dependencies are annoying on macOS, um, amongst many other things. Pixelator, it's good, but you know people want a free and open source stuff. So well, here's an alternative that falls somewhere in the middle. Most about eighty percent of users don't need everything GIMP offers, but ninety percent of users don't need everything Photoshop offers. So this to me is a nice alternative. This is based on GIMP. 
but this is called Seashore. And it's using Coca and all the native macOS stuff without all the GTK macOS junk that goes with it. And as you can tell, very simple, very straightforward. Next up, pretty simple application, uh, photo management. Photos is great for bare bones stuff. Digicam to me is the better photo management tool if you have a big photo collection. And you can also, you know, pull in a bunch of different websites and just a bunch of stuff that make it a whole lot more functional than photos. Um, then you also have uh, Show Photo, which I don't, yep, which is a portion of Digicam. This gives you all your properties and all the other stuff that goes with all your metadata. And it's, it's just a really, really nice app to have if you're a photographer. So there you guys go. A few applications to try out for free content creation on macOS. What are some that you might like, might not like? I don't know. Give me your recommendations down below. You guys know what to do. Oh, I should mention, of course, OBS, which this is recorded on, is open source. But you guys kind of figure that. So I will catch you guys on the flip. Peace.